The first step is to take sea fern spores and prepare them for use. So I've purchased sea fern spores here from a biological supply company. I get not sterile sea fern spores that come in bulk because they're a lot cheaper than if they've been pre-sterilized. The way they come then is in this vial with, um, you know, a lot of sea fern spores. You can see all the little teeny tiny brown dots there. Those are the sea fern spores. What I need to do then is I actually need to sterilize the sea fern spores and prepare them for use because there's a lot of fungus that's associated with sea fern spores. If you use them unsterile, then the fungus can take over your plates and destroy all of your um, developing sea ferns. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipetter. So this is a thousand microliters or one ml. I'm going to pipette one ml into this microcentrifuge tube. Everything now has been autoclaved. I've autoclaved the um, tips. I've autoclaved the water to make it sterile and I've autoclaved this microcentrifuge tube. Then I poured the sea fern spores into this microcentrifuge tube and you can see them in the bottom of this microcentrifuge tube. Okay, an autoclave then is a sterilization machine that basically works on heat and pressure to kill all of the bacteria and all of the fungus that is in um, any of these containers or any of these solutions. So my first step is simply to just add sterile water. So I'm going to take my pipette, get my pipette tip, I'll open up this sterile H2O, go down to the stop suck it all up there, open this up, and then we'll just pipette in 1 ml into the microcentrifuge tube. I'll flick it around so that these all get all up and around inside that water. Then I'm just going to set this down and leave it for 15 minutes. We'll get rid of my pipette tip here, and we'll add on the lid so that that water remains sterile. The next step is to sterilize the spores. So I've waited 15 minutes. Here are my spores. They've fully imbibed the water, so they're all ready to go and ready to be sterilized. What I've made up then in the meantime is a solution of 0.875 sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is bleach. So I basically took bleach that you get from the normal store, made up a 0.875% solution. I'm now going to try to add that 0.875% solution to this uh, microcentrifuge tube in the spores. However, I already have fluid in here, so I need to remove that fluid first. Once I've removed that fluid, then I'll add the sodium hypochlorite, leave it for three minutes, and then I'll do two washes with water. So here's my microcentrifuge. I'll open this up, place this um, microcentrifuge in, microcentrifuge tube in the microcentrifuge. Anytime you use a microcentrifuge, because this spins so fast and spins things down, I need to balance it. So I have one ml of water in this microcentrifuge. I'm putting them opposite each other. I'm going to close that. I'm just going to pulse it twice. All right, so we'll just go. We'll take it up to about a thousand, you know, take, not take it too long, about 10 seconds. And then we'll close that and allow it to slow down on its own. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take my um, pipetter, add a pipette tip to it. We'll open this up and we shall find the one with the um, spores. I'm going to open that up and carefully I'm going to pipe it out all of the water. Without pipetting up the spores. Okay, so I'll put that there and then I will get rid of the water. And now what I need to do is I need to change pipette tips. Back over here, that, change out that pipette tip. Okay, we'll then go into the sodium hypochlorite. Get one ml from our sodium hypochlorite. Add it to the microcentrifuge tube. Flick it around a couple times just to make sure, and then we leave it for three minutes. Three minutes have passed, and so now what we need to do is remove the sodium hypochlorite from this tube 
and then add water and wash it twice. So I'll do the same thing as I did before, place the tube opposite the tube with water, close that, bring it up to 10,000 RPMs. Okay, we're not going to leave that very long because it'll wind down pretty fast. Allow that to go out. I'll get rid of that tip. Grab another pipette tip. And then we will open this up. Okay. And then you can see here is our tube. I'm going to open that up. And we go carefully. Pipette out the solution. Without sucking up the spores. Okay. Then I will change my tip again. Get some sterile water. Place the sterile water in the micro centrifuge tube. And we'll kind of mix it around a little bit to allow the water to get rid of that. I'll throw it into the centrifuge. We'll centrifuge it again. Switch out pipette tips. Open it up, then we'll carefully remove the water again. Oops. Okay, so I basically did that, so I'm going to redo it so that I don't do that. Get all of the cells down in the bottom. Go a little slower this time. We'll open this up. Get the cells. Carefully suck it all out. Okay, change my pet tips. Add water. And we are finished. So those are now a big vial full of sterilized cells. Okay, so several steps here in preparing the fern. This is a super cluttered workstation, so not ideal. But I'm going to do a lot of stuff all at once here, okay? So here we have a vial with fern spores. These guys are all ready to be inoculated onto a plate of fern media. And we'll inoculate a little slide and check them out underneath the scope. So I'm going to start by getting the Bunsen burner going. So we'll turn that to where we barely hear it. And I'll get that going, a little bit less on there. Okay. All right. Um, so the first thing I want to do is take 50 microliters and put those onto my plate and then spread it out on my plate. So I am going to go over here, get a pipette tip. Um, and actually, I'm going to turn off my heater because I don't need it yet. We'll take the plate and I'm just going to get 50 microliters of the spores, mix it up and down, and then get 50 microliters out, and we'll put those right on the plate here. Okay, and we'll get rid of the tip. And now what I'm going to do is now light the Bunsen burner. And um, I have a little spreader here. I just made this out of a paper clip because I didn't want to run downstairs. It would take too long, so. I just bent a paper clip, got it ready to spread. 
I'm going to heat that up so it's nice and hot and sterile on the top. Okay. Um, and then I will move this in. And we will just take our spreader and just kind of cool it off. Make sure it's not too hot on that sterile auger. And once it's sterile, then we'll just spread that around the entire plate nice and evenly. So we get these guys all the way around that plate. Okay. Then all I need to do is label this plate and put it in the incubator ready to go, or actually, sorry, label this plate and then we'll put it in a stack all together so that these then can incubate underneath the um, grow light. Okay, now I'll flame my spreader and that guy's all ready to go and then I'm just gonna turn off my heat because I'm not going to need it again. Now what I wanna do is make a slide and we'll make a quick wet mount of that slide. So I need a 10 microliter pipette tip. And we'll go in here and get 10 microliters now of that. Put that 10 microliters on there. Okay, we'll get rid of the tip. And then we'll put a cover slip on top. And I always want to kind of be careful getting out cover slips. So I'm going to look at this closely even though it's not on the camera. And make sure I get one nice cover slip, put it on there. And now I'm ready to go view this underneath the microscope. The final preparatory step is basically to put the um, spores in light so that the light can shine down on them and give them the right gross conditions. So I'm basically going to take the plates that we inoculated, place them all into this container. Throw on the lid and then we'll keep them under the lights for two weeks. Okay, These containers are really nice. The height of these are designed so that the temperature in here is the right temperature so that they incubate and grow at their maximum rate.